to talk about in the GA, which is no different than any other time of the year, really. But I suppose the first thing to talk about is Henry Shefflin. He's been talking about his first year in charge. This was at the launch of the Supermax deal the other day. And, you know, everyone knows they got to the Leinster final and probably fell away the last 20 minutes there. It was something he was disappointed about himself in the aftermath of the game. And then they got to the all Ireland semi-final, limped over Cork, and then had given an excellent performance against uh, Limerick up until the last few minutes. But he was saying the intensity of the season was one of the big learnings. It was my first time experience in inter-county management, the split season as well. And once it starts, it rolls pretty quickly until it's over. So the opportunity to do a lot of work in between games is not there. But I've, I've been up in Galway and seen a lot more club games this year, and that has been beneficial as well. We're all a further year on. The management team and I are more comfortable, and hopefully the group are more comfortable. We've learned a lot from that first year, and the job is now to push on and improve. And they said they haven't gone back training yet because the club, club championships went on for so long. I felt it was more important the lads switched off a bit and got a bit of a break. So we're not going back until December. Do you know, that's one of the things that's probably uh, something that he picked up from being involved with Bally Hale and so many years of going from club to county and realising I'm going to have some St. Thomas's lads who are going to be crucial to what I'm doing. Maybe even some of these Loch Ray lads are going to make a step up now as well. So, you know, I think he's probably thinking from a player's point of view here. Yeah, I think a lot of managers are quite selfish, Shane, I have to say, uh, from that point of view, and they don't see the bigger picture a lot of the time. They think we need X, Y, or Z back next week or in two weeks or whatever. Because uh, you know yourself, you, you will hit a ceiling later. You'd be, you'd be a bit cheesed off going back when you have to go back, but you'll get through it or whatever, and then maybe you'll get the championship time, and that bounce just won't be there in you. Do you know what I mean? The bit of hunger. You do need a bit of a you do need a bit of a layoff. You need to go off on holiday. You need to refresh, uh, recharge your batteries a small bit. So listen, it, it, Galway's a bit different than a lot of other counties. Like Wexford, for example, none of those guys would have been playing hurling. They would have all been stopped hurling like this first or second week in August. So at least he's had them hurling. Fair enough, they haven't been hurling to inter county standard, but they've been hurling vast majority to what are we talking about? the vast majority have been hurling up until a month or six weeks ago at the very very uh earliest and some of them are still hurling to last sunday so i think he's in a good spot i uh, listen from even chatting to Bally hale lads when henry was there he is a real players manager he understands the demands that are on players understands about giving them breaks and things like that so listen i think i think he's been the long game there i also think he's um dampened any expectation for next year quite early because to me I'm thinking you know I always say to you about you know the P beside the team there's a big P for possible massive progression next year with Galway when you look at what happened this year um probably flopped a bit in the Leinster final bounced back well against Cork eked out a victory and you know pushed Limerick to the pin or collar for a decent length of time so they're one of the teams if you're thinking of where a challenger is going to come in 2023 they're definitely one of them and he's kind of lowered things down a small bit already um but they will be they'll be contenders this year definitely and at the start of the 2022 inter-county season the Watford management talked about how it'll take a while to get these Bally Gunner lads up to up to speed. And obviously the league was ongoing at that stage. But Park Mahoney, when we had him on the show the other day, and you, you can find that interview on the on the channel there, he was saying that it didn't take that long and he felt he was back up to speed quickly, which probably speaks, uh, augurs well for Derek Ling with those Bally Hale lads and so on and all the other clubs, for example, Bally Gunner again, that will be involved next year. Uh, St. Thomas is also, who are still alive. Uh, 